Hello everybody watching, my name is Jay Beetle, and welcome to Sky to Fly Faster Than Wind. It says that it's a stunningly beautiful steampunk themed runner about saving a sky city from cruel pirates. And you get to play on 20 or so levels and upgrade your ship and discover, discover the mysteries of the malicious marauders. That seems very um, general, I think, as a description. I would have to agree with the runner part. I would have to agree with the beautiful steampunk part because it is a pretty good game or a pretty, pretty game. There's, there's just some things I have problems with. Uh, before I go into that, though, I'll just show you. I played a little bit of the game. Um, they are level. It is a level-based game. You just r drive your blimp plane through the different levels, and I, I'm still sort of getting through the. The start of it where you're being introduced to new things every level but for now you know you you hire Kylie she's the one that joins your crew first as your free crew member uh, she doesn't really have a point though I mean you can dismiss her it doesn't look like she does anything and if she does it's not very well displayed then you have all these different ones that give your ship a buff essentially I don't know if they have any sort of personality or not she definitely does she talks to you uh, but I haven't gotten to that point yet because I haven't earned, earned enough coins. The way you earn coins is complete levels. As for the ships you can have, I think you only have your one ship. It, sh it says your durability and agility, and you have your orders, which are essentially uh, the quests. So let's do one level, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we have, we can buy buffs for the journey. I'm going to just get this free one that I got from the last one by picking it up while riding. And I have to say, I guess if this game excels in anything, it's it's pretty, and it's clear where you're supposed to be going, and it introduces you to new things by doing what you just saw, and it has to because you can't stop. You can't stop flying. You have to go forward. It hits the runner part. And I, while talking, I didn't see what that did, so I'm going to avoid it until I have to. There are a lot of objects to avoid, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be that interesting of a runner but there's also some a little bit not much but a little bit of camera finagling where you don't really know what is this oh it didn't tell me that see that looked like sort of like a jump pad wasn't a jump pad I just ran right into the side of a pool cliff um, as for how he's actually flying I mean it looks like I'm riding on water with a reflection sort of except for that it's not a reflection. But I'd have to say this looks better, as, or in my, just in my opinion, it would look better as a, a game on a mobile device. Because really, I don't want to criticize a game because I don't feel like I have much right to. I don't know enough about games. I'm not a critique person. But it, it's kind of boring. Like a little bit. I just keep collecting those. Whoa. But this is like the whole game, as far as I know. It's just a bit too slow for me. It's like, nothing is wrong, nothing, everything works the way it should. It's just kind of like if someone were to make sculpture, uh, sand sculptures for a living, but they only use that little cup to fill sand and then make like the perfect solo cup looking sand castle ever to make this. What I'm trying to say is it's, it's simple. I... It's an early access, though, so maybe it'll become less simple. Oops. But for now, I don't know. I just don't find... There's not, like, a, a reason to keep playing it because it's just not interesting quickly enough. It might be interesting near the end of the game, but... Ah, this is it's tough. And some of the hazards don't tell you they're hazards. Also, if there's any sort of... Oh, was that a victory? See, I don't even know. I think I might have died. Um, I got a couple of rewards, just to go off track for a minute. Armor, bus for next route. The music's catchy, the art's nice, but it's just kind of boring. Maybe it's just, you have to like this type of game. Maybe it needs to be a little bit faster. There are buffs that can make you turn easier, but as it starts out, you can't really do any of that. Repair. I don't want to repair. Repairs in four seconds. See, and you also have to wait. I feel like this might have been on mobile. Let's just continue a little bit of the story. 
we'll just show you. I only played a few levels. I picked up Kylie, hired her. Oh, it even tells you right here. You hired her. Not bad for your first day in delivery. Then a masked man would pay you double if you got to a certain area in a certain amount of time. I did not make it because pirates attacked me. I don't know if that was avoidable or not. And then I met this young journalist that was in a crate. So hopefully this will be showing me a few things. I get armor and a magnet. I don't even know if I want both of these because it's really easy. I understand starting out easy, but it just doesn't doesn't feel like it gets exciting quickly enough. I guess the pacing is what I'm trying to say isn't there. And I don't know if you can die. I imagine later in the game there's hazards that do a lot more than you just softly bump into them. Well, actually, I know there are, are some that do more than that, but I haven't seen them very often. And if, if the developers looking at me and be like, you don't even know what you're talking about, you've barely played the game, I agree. This is just from the first few levels of whether I would want to play this if I saw someone else playing it at the beginning. And the answer would probably be no. I don't want to say that, but that's probably what it is. I'm not giving the game a bad grade, it's just... I guess it's four dollars. I think it's four dollars on Steam. So for a four dollar game, I guess it's pretty good. Especially if they're going to be adding to it. Early access could mean a lot of things. Ugh. Oh, that was a bad one. I wasn't paying attention. See stuff like that. I can't get out. I lose half of my health because I couldn't get out of that. Jeez. And that hasn't really come up, come up yet because I've not really hit anything. But when you hit something, I, I can see you are, you're tough to get back aligned to where you're supposed to. These gears are just essentially currency. It's for an extra rating. If you get them all, you get three stars, and then you therefore you get more coins. When there are turns in the map, you don't have any control over it. It's a straight line the whole time, which I guess, again, goes back to the whole being a runner. It just, I don't know. When I think of runner, I think of an infinite runner, and this isn't infinite, obviously, but I think of the speed that that creates, and this is very slow, and even when it's not, oh god, the camera, camera sometimes, oh, a magnet will take a ball, okay, cool, yeah, it's just, the music sketch, everything's catchy, everything's solid, I'd say, the best, the best compliment I could give is this is a solid game. But as far as it catching me and, and making me want to play more in the first few moments, I think that's where it's lacking. And I think there's time for that to be fixed. And we reached our destination. Exciting. And this is how essentially every level ends. I'm not going to go through this much more. Uh, I got another another evasion buff for next time gonna go next let's see what she has to say I wish I had money to pay you wait do you remember a masked man who asked for the deliver to deliver the box he helped me because he hates pirates he seems to be a good fellow and might have a job for you here take these this address so we got to go back to the guy which is cool whatever but I don't know these these are just stat boosts increasing the number of buffs on the route by three I mean it's just Unless all these are random hires and there are more interesting ones that come every time, kind of like uh, Darkest Dungeon maybe, that'd be kind of cool. But the ship's not powerful enough. The ship is essentially move left, move right. That's all you can do. You can't speed up unless you get above. You can't slow down to avoid obstacles. It's lacking, but it's solid. I give it maybe a B if I had to give it a rating I don't I don't think again I don't think I'm qualified to give it ratings and it sounds like I hate the game but I really really don't uh, it's hard to judge early access games but I I mean you're going to if you play it that's all I'm saying this is sky to fly faster than wind it works quite well the music is very interesting and I hope the gameplay just you know gets a little bit more interesting as the game's development continues Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, I got a snow... Oh, those are eggs. thought they were snowballs. That makes no sense, J-Beagle. Just get these apples. I don't even know how the apples fall. 
Yeah, I got all this gold. So let's see what we can do. 